Sonora, Juárez, El Paso, Texas, California, San Antonio. Y nos hemos juntado aquí para realizar un fandango en el puente, lo que estamos haciendo hoy. Y es una forma para nosotros de manifestar lo, en contra de lo que está sucediendo en nuestro país, sobre todo en Juárez, en Chihuahua y la violencia. Creemos que la mejor manera de combatir toda la negatividad es creando armonía y uniéndonos todos a través de la música y el arte. También esta es una forma de representar que lo que sucede en México tiene que ver con lo que pasa en Estados Unidos y la relación que existe en México-Estados Unidos. Fandango Fronterizo was a project that took place over a period of 17 days in the state of Chihuahua, Mexico. We got to work in Chihuahua City, Bacaburiachi, and the border town of Juarez with different communities and organizations. We did 11 workshops and concerts, and through them we were able to learn and share with people who are doing powerful community work. The whole project culminated with a street performance, the Fandango Fronterizo, on the U.S.-Mexican border bridge. The Fandango Fronterizo brought together a binational team from three different cities. We had Puppet on the Ground from Washington, D.C., which is a social justice puppetry collective. We had Niganto Nogan from Veracruz, a community-based cultural center. And we had Contec, an NGO that works with indigenous farmers. The team met in Chihuahua City for the first time on November 29th. <laughs> muertos me juntan a 10 quijadas sí. yo se las como es que vale más el caballo muerto que vivo <risa> The first big activity that we did uh, as part of the project was um, we participated in an event called the Feria del Maíz. Uh, it's a corn festival in a community in the mountains in Chihuahua State called Bacaburiachi. And this is an event that Contec, one of our partner organizations, does every year as a harvest festival. So they have a seed exchange and kind of a skill and information share uh, between different agricultural producers in the region. And then between Chihuahua City and Juarez, We did several puppetry and music workshops with different community groups. We did a few with children and youth. There's a, a group called Las Hormigas in Juarez that has a cultural center um, that also they do work with adults, primarily women, but then also have a school for children and after school program. Another group called Compas, also in Juarez, uh, that works mostly with youth and coordinates music education programs. And so something we heard a lot from them was in this kind of climate of, of violence and fear, how important it is to have those kinds of, of programs. No queremos la paz armada. Hay paz cuando hay vida digna para todos y todas. Paz y justicia para todos y todas. The final event that we did before the Fandango en Juarez um, was participating in an event for International Human Rights Day on December 10th. This was organized by a human rights group called Centro de Derechos Humanos Paseo del Norte, along with a couple other organizations. This project was inspired because for the last few years there's been a lot of violence happening in the state of Chihuahua and in Mexico in general and I'm originally from Chihuahua and I didn't know exactly what to do. It, it was very frustrating to call home and every time that I call, I will hear something horrible happening to people that I know. The problem is very big and convoluted and, and asking for help is kind of difficult because who do you ask for help when you don't really believe in the authorities? So the need to do something that will contradict that, that will be exactly the opposite, that will be beautiful, that will bring harmony, that will unite people, that will let us express ourselves in a positive way against something that it is so horrific happening, started the need for this project.
Bueno, el fandango es una fiesta que se hace eh, desde hace 250 años más o menos en, en el sur de Veracruz y esta fiesta pues a través del, de la jarana, del, del son jarocho es una fiesta que reúne a las comunidades ¿no? en, en el fandango la fiesta no solo tiene que ver con la música sino con toda la gente que hace posible para que un fandango se realice siempre hay muchos elementos que, que, de, que de, de afuera no se logran identificar ¿no? siempre hay gente que está cocinando siempre hay gente que está adornando el espacio siempre hay quien recibe a los músicos y los invita a pasar hay mucha generosidad en la fiesta ¿no? aunque la gente que realiza la fiesta el fandango sea muy humilde realmente siempre se hace con mucha generosidad ¿no? y en el momento en que se empezó a investigar el son jarocho empezó a tomar también otros rumbos ¿no? empezó a hacer una forma de comunicarse para, para la gente ¿no? We also did a, a large workshop that was sponsored by a group called Ichikul, the Instituto Chihuahuense de la Cultura. And that's actually the space where we created all of the puppets and banners and visuals that were used for the Fandango on the Bridge, um, as well as some of the verses, the, the lyrics to the music that we were singing. Entonces el trabajar con los niños, el trabajar con la gente, este, de, de, de gente rara muy, entonces para mí también despertó desde un principio la primera tocada, ¿no? El, el, de estar en ese casa hogar, ahí para mí eso fue mágico, ¿no? Empezó como, ahí para mí empezó el fandango fronterizo, ¿no? Para mí eso es el proyecto que veníamos a hacer, ¿no? Desde ahí empezó... Ese, y ahí empezó como esa energía que empecé a sentir, ¿no? De seguir sintiendo más lo que es sentirte involucrado en lo que es más el fandango fronterizo, ¿no? No es de venir a tocar tu jaranita porque eres jarocho y, y haz unos versos para la paz, ¿no? No es eso. Porque no damos un papelito y le explicamos una historia de lo que queremos hacer, ¿no? Simplemente mostramos con la música, con los títeres, con la lona, que no lleva ni una sola letra. Entonces, el mostrar la gente percibe todo lo que estábamos haciendo, ¿no? The idea to do the fandango on the bridge itself between Juarez and El Paso um, was to have participants come up from both sides of the border um, with our puppets and music and banners carrying this message, uh, calling for an end to the violence and the militarization of the border um, and highlighting by, by being right on the border itself, highlighting the fact that Uh, the governments of both Mexico and the U.S. are responsible for contributing to this situation um, through failed economic, drug, and immigration policies, um, and that really both countries are going to need to work together to come up with long-term solutions to this crisis. Um, and at the same time, even though these are such difficult issues that are that can seem very hopeless the spirit of the fandango was really one of of solidarity and and uniting communities and creating a moment of joy and hope in the face of this situation